So this is what I have to say. The concert is happening. The concert is happening. The concert is happening. Get your tickets. You can hit it in my bio. Get your tickets, y'all. Get your tickets. Queens Fire Tour. Make sure Lit. you are there with your tickets, honey, because those people go. already got their tickets. Tickets are selling, honey. And yeah, that's all I have to say. It's gonna be lit. do with it ain't y'all just girl start your craziness and i'm coming to you 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 and you with another word on the street segment make sure you like comment subscribe and share this video so this whole latasha infringement trademark infringement thing between her group mates and mona is just like really sis <laughs> like they've been doing tours and shows without you for the longest now and they've been getting to the money while you over here doing your gospel album and focusing on your own career. They've been jerking and jiving on stage, doing their own thing, getting this paper. And you come in with this because you feel like you was not included in any of the contractual things going on. As well as you feel like, okay, no, y'all not going to use this name because I am co-owner of the name. And I'm like, wait, you forgot your sister was co-owner. So in a way she can still do what she want to do. And she gives the permission to use the name. And we had a post that was up that I had reposted for my girl Tamika. But then we deleted it because basically they wanted us to do it as a collaboration post instead of us doing it as separate posts so it's going back up i'm just waiting for somebody else to post and ask and add me as a collaborator because as you can see i'm at the park so i don't have time to be posted for everybody when they post it and add me as a collaborator i will accept it gladly because it will be on our page because what the post said we meant it <laughs> and i'm just gonna mom up this but i'll be at the concert though yes I don't want nobody thinking that I deleted a post for no reason. I just deleted it so that we can add it back up all together. Same time. Same time. Same time. Let's go. And from what we see on the show, you didn't want to be a part of the group. No way. You were so focused on this gospel album and doing your own thing and spreading your wings and going solo dolo. You can give a damn what they was doing. But since you was contractually obligated to be there, okay, you did what you had to do. But now, since you see, you know, they're coming back again and now it's going to be a tour. And you know how much you can make on a tour. Oh, you want to come back on board. <laughs> I tell you, boy, boy, boy. Mm, mm, mm. You shouldn't have, you know, served your ties with your peoples, especially your sister. How you, how you acted towards your sister on that TV show? Are you serious? Girl, be for real. Tasha, stop wasting your time. All the girls have to do is call themselves EX3, formerly known as Escape, to circumvent all of this. With social media, everybody knows they could call themselves uh, Candy, Tamika, and Tiny. And still sell. It's not like they're garnering new fans. All right. The people who are coming out to see the current escape. We all hoes that know them. They could call themselves Little House on the Prairie. And we still going to know it's the escape. So what are you doing, sis? You are the one who distanced yourself from the group. You came through while everybody was on some unity and harmony type stuff. You came through trying to be Beyonce. It didn't work for you. And instead of humbling yourself and doing whatever it is you need to do to slowly get back with the good graces with the girls, you want to double down on wrongness and then bring the law into it. Like, So it's just a whole lot, especially when it comes to the sisters, the Scott sisters. And, you know, they a whole family drama. Then it trickles on down to the group. It's a little too much, too much. <laughs> but Candy, she had talked a little about this on her Amazon Live. So we're going to get into it and see what she had to say. Roll the footage. Should I go into some of the dramas that we've seen my name in on social media? 
<laughs> okay, so I'm going to go back to the question that was asked earlier about some of the behind the scenes tea on the Escape tour. So unfortunately, um, our group, after we did the last um, TV series, the Escape in, what was it? Um, Escape, uh, SWB and Escape, Queens of R&B, that was a TV show on Bravo last year. Um, you know, it was so much drama on that show. And it ended badly. <laughs> Our group, who we always were a four-member group, we are now a three-member group. So right now that the tour has been announced, our fourth member, she, um, you know, sent a letter to, I guess, cease and desist to the promoters um, because she says, you know, because she um, has ownership of the trademark. And um, basically she's not the only owner of the trademark. It's her and the two sisters who are in our group, they both own the trademark together. A lot of people didn't understand why Tiny and I didn't have any ownership in the trademark. Um, basically, over the years, we didn't all renew it. They end up renewing it, just the two of them. So, But just the two of their names were on their trademark, even though we've all been a group and started um, in this business, had our first record deal in and the, since 1991 and then 1993 we came out with our first album so anyway only two members actually officially on paper own the trademark um even though we all have been using and working as a group as escape and are all on the albums but here's the gag is my source told me that quiet as is kept if you want the realty that tasha really really shouldn't even claim no ownership of the trademark because she ain't never even paid for it. Said when it was time to trademark the shit, Tamika was the only one who had some money and Tamika did it. And when it was time to renew the shit, that Tamika renewed it and Tasha still ain't had no money. So not only did Tasha owe Tamika $30,000 that she stole, they, she also owe her money for the trademark. So... I digress to explain that whole situation. There's no need in going to all that. The only thing is, all that I can say is, with it being two members, one of the members, of one of the owners of the trademark are actually performing on the tour and give permission and rights to use the trademark. And apparently, one can't stop the other from exercising their right to the trademark. So there was no need in her sending that letter, basically. And there's more drama that we just have to work out as a group and figure it out amongst ourselves. Unfortunately, they had to come out to the public and to the world. And yeah, that's what I'm dealing with. I was like, now nah, how I quit my job on Real Housewives of Atlanta and still got this type of drama? I just cannot get away from the drama. It doesn't matter what I do. I don't know. It's like it just follows me everywhere I go. Help me understand. I don't know. Anyway, guys. Yeah, it's a mess. It's a mess. And Ella says, the three-member group is working out perfectly. I like it that way. Me too. Anyway. And Brooke says, why can't she just apologize and humble, humble herself? It's bigger than her. Um, it's a lot of things happening. I mean, obviously, when you have a group and you have family within the group, and sometimes things are very deep and you know, we have to really work it out on a different level just because family is involved. So, um, yeah, that sometimes is bigger than even the rest of us in the group. <laughs> I don't even want to even touch on it, you know, really. Sade says, I can do without Latasha's unnecessary runs anyway. Ooh, I'm staying out of that. Brooke asks, will there be a season two for Queens R&B to show the tour? No. I did not want to do another reality show this year simply because, you know, I quit Housewives so that I can, you know, focus on other things. And I was like, it wouldn't make sense to just go and do another reality show. I was just like, no. But even though I'm not doing the shows, it's like the drama is still continuously coming into my life. I'm like, what, what am I doing? I don't know why it's like that, guys. I don't know. Tay says, can you all do a documentary about the making of the tour? I would just suggest that you guys follow my YouTube channel, Candy Online, and follow me on Snap. 
because that's where you're going to get some real behind the scenes. You know, I'm going to put it all together real cute on YouTube and on Snap. I'm going to give it to you raw as it's happening. So, yeah. Escape Business Associate that I talked to said, it's no way in hell Tasha could ever come back to that group that the ladies, they said, even Tamika said that her sister is not welcome back to that group that just too much has gone by. I said, so tell me about this tour, like with SWV and SK, how was they able to work it out? Child, the people said, and listen, and I'm just telling out what the people said, that SWV got in the room and Escape got in the room and they started comparing stories and quiet as it's kept. Tasha was the one swerving up shit between the two of the groups and was the ones having them beefing was going around saying she ain't even want to do the tour, was telling one group one thing and telling the others other, and was sewing up all that division. And now that she ain't part of the equation, the ladies are able to co-headline. They are going on tour, having no problem. The ladies are co-headlining the tours. They split the money down the doggone middle. One group of ladies going to open one show. One group of ladies going to open the other show. And everything is going just fine. Now that the sister and her husband is not in the equation. Well, on that note, let your girl know what you think about this in the comment section below. And I will see you on the next Word on the Street. Be crazy. Mm -hmm. It's a and a feeling like the summer sun that slowly rises on a new horizon of love.